if I'm gonna do a special on relationships, I should buy Rosie a present so I can patch up my own. But how do you start a relationship in the 90s? Being married, I have no idea how it's done anymore. So I need an expert, you know, some young buck who's on the cutting edge of the dating scene. Some Jason Priestley or Marky Mark type. You know the guys. I overheard you talking, Tom, and you found your man. Hey, it's Chris Farley from Saturday Night Live. How you doing, Chris? Well? Well, who is it? Who, who's the guy? <laughs> You're a funny man, Tom. There's no denying that. Well, we both know it's me. We both know that women are attracted to me in the same way that metaphors describe stuff. <laughs> really? Well, I mean, I meant really. But I figured a guy like you'd be married by now. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Many women have tried to lasso this stallion. But for now, this wild buck has to roam free or he will die. So you're going to help me show people how to find a mate? Bingo. Let's go bird dogs and chicks. We decided to conduct our little courtship investigation at a nearby mall. We set up a communication link between me and Chris. The rest, as they say, is science history. All right, Chris, let's start out kind of slow, buddy. Okay, Tom. Sometimes you got to get them a little uh, sympathetic. Let them feel sorry for you, right? Watch this approach. Excuse me, how you girls doing? Pretty good. I was wondering, I was wondering if you could uh, start this orange for me, because uh, my fingernails are all a bit off because I get so nervous, you know, all the time. I don't, I don't know why. If you could just start it, and then we could uh, maybe get it together. I was wondering if you could tell me where the short and portly men's clothing store is. You know, we're doing this together. It's our first real chore together. Hey, Chris, that's not working. Now, let's go a little more aggressive on this one, OK? Holy shit! God, you're beautiful. Bye-bye. <laughs> God, he's good. Hey, Janet, Susie. Yeah, I'm not wearing any pants behind this organ. I can see under your dress, and I like what I see. The lace and the underalls. They're just for me. Look out, Elvis. I was wondering if you know where I could get some aloe vera lotion. Yeah, I got quite a burn going right here in this region. My body's made for pleasure. God, he's good. Tom, as you know, a lot of chicks like the athletic type. Well, I have the speed and agility of a mountain goat. I'm falling helplessly, hopelessly, deeply in love with you. Oh, really? It happens to me sometimes when I see a beautiful girl. <laughs> when I know now that you and I together, we can make a beautiful future. You and me together in the <laughs> mall in the afternoon. And Jesus H, I am sorry. Did I hurt you? Are you all right? I, uh, I, uh, I was a little excited, and my friend has left. Thank God. Thanks, Mama. Jeez, I am sorry about that. Are you hurt at all, at all in any way, okay. you girls? So, Chris, tell me what we learned today. Well, it's plain and simple, Tom. Everyone in this town is lesbos. You know, lesbi friends, dueling bat wings. Know what I'm talking about? Really? I don't know, there's got to be some explanation.